Hello, everybody, and welcome to a another stream. Thank you for the lyric, Lauren. I really appreciate it. So, I am going to start off on a new save file because I really want to check out the new misery mode. No active feats allowed. Neat. So, we have Loper, which is cool. Um, let's see here. Uh, custom interloper. I just wanted to check out to see if, um, yeah, misery mode does not show up on that. So I heard that was the case, but I wanted to check anyway. So for expert players, I, th this is where my hubris comes in because I've never even be survived long enough on Loper. So, uh, is there any way I can check my journal? But yeah, I haven't even survived. Uh, let's test this shit. Let's test this shit. So this is my hubris. I have played some Nogoa. I heard that this is harder than Nogoa. The thing is, is that it starts off easier than Nogoa. So there are, like, it, it unlike Nogoa where it starts off as being like it's going to kick your ass this is where it's like okay we're gonna kick your ass down the line but we're gonna make it fair at least at first First place I want to get to is the barn. So I have a giant advantage right now, and that is, um, I'm arrogant. So, like I said before. Also, um, I was trying to see if I can change the location of the, um, stream chat, but then I realized that I was just fucking shit up, uh, on the overlay, so. Yay me. Okay, there's the barn. Perfect. Some wolves over there. So from what I can tell, the different um, misery mode does have the inability to choose if you want to have. Um, I'm trying. To, I'm blanking on the word. Scurvy, that's it. Do you want scurvy? And so, because you can't choose that, that's gonna be fun. Gotta warm up somehow. The thing that I really want to do is to um, at least survive 10 days on this mode. Yeah. A pleasant valley. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, we spawn in Pleasant Valley. From what I can tell, you always spawn in Pleasant Valley, which gives you a massive advantage. Because you always spawn in the same location. It's kind of like the dev's way of balancing out the difficulty, so... 
No arrows. Okay, is the truck warm? Okay, I have barely anything. Let's well, pass two hours. It's not gonna get me like completely warm, but it at least gives me some time to look for some stuff. I shouldn't be running. Okay, good, good, good. That is perfect. So, the rule going forward is that I'm not allowed to use any sort of um, stim or anything until much, much later. an hour it's it's not worth it as much as i okay that works do i have okay i should i have a book But no matches. And instead of passing time, I should have slept, but... I'm gonna sleep three hours. Okay, it's almost night, which isn't great, but I need to make it to Molly's house. Fast. And it's worth the risk. Because if I die, I can just restart over, and I'm not, like... Okay, Molly's house is this way. I mean, I'm, I'm screwed no matter what. I'm just, I'm just a masochist, so I'm going for, like, the hardest difficulty, even though I've never survived more than 10 days on work. I 
Yep, I went the wrong way. I mean, you live, you learn, so. as well. Um, for me, his heavy breathing is um, nails on a chalkboard for me, and as much as I love Mark Mears' voice actor, like, outside of the heavy breathing, Mark Mir, it does an amazing job at Will. I just prefer Astrid. I'm not gonna say like I look exactly like Astrid because that would be stupid. But I look too like I'm um, at one point I did have a crush on her until I realized how similar Astrid and I looked, in which case I'm like Okay, is this a case of me just being that narcissistic? Because it feels like narcissism. Where the hell am I? I should be close to the farmhouse if I... Right. Should be somewhere. Uh-huh. I actually, um, at one, there, if I don't cut my hair long enough, um, soon enough, my hair actually becomes Astrid's haircut. In fact, um, I, need to take a picture, like, when my hair is clean, but, uh, yeah, I have the exact same, I'm also very pale. My haircut is very short. I have the exact same brown hair, and I also have green eyes. And other than um, Astrid's nose bridge being higher up, we're pretty similar looking. So it's like similar enough. Um, if since you're on LD's um, Discord. If you go into the selfie channel, there's actually a picture of me. And so it does show some similarities between me and Astrid. And once I realized how similar we were, I, uh, I'm like, yeah, this is, th this is too close for comfort. At the very least, if, if I don't look exactly like her, we look related. So, you know, it's like... I was like, okay, I kind of have a crush on a person who looks like my cousin, and that is already very creepy in of itself. So, uh, yeah, that stopped. Immediately after. I just love when I get fucking lost. Okay, I have an idea of where I am. I'm probably gonna die. Because there's no chance in hell I'm making this back, but whatever. Will wouldn't be able to do so. He might want to, but he wouldn't be able. Because no matter how nice Will is, and this has nothing to do with heavy breathing, by the way. It's, uh, I'm not into men. So it's like, yeah, no offense, Will, but I don't swing that way. Might as well pick up these cattails while I'm here. Hey, by sheer dumb luck, I'm still surviving nearly a full 24 hours. I mean, my health is shit, but... Oh, I'm probably also close to hypothermia. Yeah, I almost have frostbite. Almost have hypothermia. If I get frostbite, I'm just exiting this entire fucking run. By dying and restarting, I'm not going to come back with, like, um, cheat death system. Eh. I mean, if 
Will was a real person, I'm pretty sure he would be like, okay, that makes sense. It's like, yeah, it's it's not on him, it's me. Let's just this shit. I don't know, but I could take some of these. Oh, and the, um, okay, bunnies, cool. I'm debating if I should go up. If I climb up and there's that rope over there, then I can get to Spanglers while also looking at the plane crash, which would be worth it because I do have a bedroll, so. No, I do not. I forgot, the truck gives you the bedroll option, so... Eh. I'm fully awake. Well, that makes sense. It's like... It's like people forget about that entirely. And a lot of it has more to do with their biases. Though I don't mean that to be like, okay, it makes sense, therefore it's fine. Just want to make that clear. Bi erasure is a thing, and it is just as bad. I, I would say it's a form of homophobia. It's basically homophobia just wrapped in this layer of... It's fine because it's predominantly done by LGBT so people. Warming up a bit. I want to make sure I have as many supplies as humanly possible. I'm gonna go straight into the basement. If I can remember which one is the correct basement. Ah, uh, here it is. Perfect. Let's check this corpse first. Okay, it feels like negative 24. That's not right. Okay, I'm s oh good, good, good. I'm warm in here, which is great. Anything in here? That would be really nice if I could get some extra clothing. No. The first thing I really want is a sewing kit. Might as well break this down. In my opinion, it'd be best to have a decent amount of clothing. That way, um... Less because I think, like, in the future, it's gonna prevent you from freezing to death, but more of, it gives you that option that if you walk into a building, 
there is no um the odds of you coming across something that you can, um a building that's going to be freezing is going to be zero okay good good all the tea supplies i'm not worried about I'm aware, Astrid. I do not own any pets at the moment. Mostly because I couldn't keep a pet rock alive. Well, this stuff will come in Perfect. handy. Okay, even better. Search that. Complicated. I'm just saying that, like, theoretically, I wouldn't be able to keep anything alive. I can barely keep myself alive. I can barely keep myself alive. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm mm, just that bad. I'm hoping I can find a bedroll somewhere nearby soon. Food. That's perfect. Astrid, can you get up here? Astrid. Thank you. I want to search these all before the hypothermia. Okay, the frostbite risk went down, which is good. That's definitely empty. At least normally. Okay. Okay, nothing there. Quickly back to Spangler's Gulch so I can warm up. Like, I know I'm taking my time, but... Okay, let's see here. Actions. Harvest. Drink that real fast. I'll rest soon on the fight. Perfect. Yeah, let's prepare the hat. I 
Okay, that's gonna be gone in the, ha the gloves one. It's gonna be gone in a minute. So I got that done. Um, I need to stop by Molly's house as soon as humanly possible so I can get my, um, so I can get everything else repaired. Might as well prepare those so that way I have... Okay, I'm as warm as I can get. I want to make my way to the farmhouse ASAP. Not the farmhouse, the barn. Because that means I can sleep. Oh gosh, what's a yellow tea? It's it's not birch bark. Might be Raishi. You might be thinking of Raishi tea. Hey, uh, I goaded the wrong way. Okay, good, good. Um, I would like to go to Molly's house, but at the same time, I just don't think I can afford, or maybe I'm actually going to Molly's house. Holy shit. I forgot this, um, if you go from Spangler's Gulch, you can just head over to Molly's. I forgot about that. I thought it was further away, but yeah, I, I'm going to be heading over to Molly's. Not the barn. Which is perfect, considering the fact that I need sleep and Molly's house has an actual bed. Oh, so cold. between Coastal Highway and Desolation Point would actually be the best form for Misery Mode. So tired. I right here. Just because of later on, you'll have access to as much fish as you would want, but also you have access to as much coal as you could possibly need. It would be the matches that are the biggest problem. So you'd want to have as many torches as humanly possible just so you don't accidentally waste a match. Because I know rose hip tea is red. It has to be either Raishi tea. Um, I'm pretty sure birch bark comes in a different mug. Though it might also be ban Bannock, I do not know, because I suck. So... Molly should have some food, which I can eat, which is great. And also it will have the toilet, which means I can get something to drink, which is also great. And given how it's almost dark, yeah, I've never seen burdock, so I don't know. I have enough food. I do not need to stop for those cattails right now, because I am freezing to death, so. And there's all the, those woods, so. Acorn makes coffee though. It doesn't make um it doesn't make tea, it makes coffee. 
Acorn Browns either make coffee or it's turned into a flower, so... I'm gonna check in here, because if, the, if there are carrots in the basement... There are sometimes matches here, too. Good, good. Take all the water. Nothing in there. Actually exit and just put this outside. Just because it does prevent that stuff from going bad faster. This okay, herbal tea. Perfect. now. Hey, Choo Choo Bob. Nice to see you. I'm going to be taking damage no matter what, but... where you probably want to just go everywhere and get all the cloth. Hey, Omar! Sorry, missed the chat real quick, but nice to see you. in here. I should also go back on my Voyager run at some point. I'll probably do that after, like, I survive a day. I want to at least get to Coastal Highway on this run. I just remembered that nobody needs this anymore. Oh wait. Let's see here. I'll 
take the risk. Sleep. Okay, that's good, that's good. Because that means I can... I'm hoping... Damn it. This fails too? Yep. Third time it's the charm, it's gonna fail? Okay, cool. How do I get to the... Hi, I'd like the other curtain, please. It's not going to do much in terms of giving me warmth, but any sort of bonus is better than none. Because now I just remembered, I should have done the, um, part two, uh, part three of Signal Void. That actually be really fun. Choo Choo Bob, I'm gonna probably be off just because, yeah, it's gonna be around 10, so we won't have much time. Yeah, I'm gonna actually go to my Voyager run just so I can see survival, load, rename, Voyager, new or uh, sig now except void your signal load game oh i didn't actually have scurvy enabled yeah we're not doing the scurvy um I'm going to have the scurvy on, and I'm going to keep off. I'm going to have the scurvy off and cougar on. Um, and see if... Or maybe there isn't? Either way, I'm going to check out the new region. Um, Hush River Valley region. No. Wait, how do I check out the, uh... Okay, there we go! Enter Sunder Pass for, uh, this guy. Super. I shall do that. Given I have level 10, no, 5 cooking, I'll be fine. And I am warm, so... I'm gonna head back. 
back to my main camp and see what I can do from there. Hi! Nice seeing you. Lunch plates. Welcome. So far, everything's going well. I just remembered that the, um, because I was so excited to try misery mode, I then remembered that, um, There's also the new part three of Buried Echoes. And I actually did like Buried Echoes. Signal Void, whatever it's called. Um, I don't give a shit about the name. I can't, let me just. I'm gonna leave the rapid corpses because I don't give a shit. Um, I just want to make sure, like, I keep the snares. I just want to take the snares down. Welcome back. Surprised, Astrid. Good lord. Okay, all those. Yeah, we're dropping that. Dropping all of these snares, because holy shit, I do not need all those. And because I'm arrogant, I'm going to be taking all this rabbit meat. I should get the, um, the Travois. just leave the rabbit meat somewhere. Okay, that's good enough. I wonder if I can drop any of this here. I'm not afraid because I have a gun. I also have a good cleaning kit, which means I can get the rifle, and that would be a lot safer. Also, I want the rifle to be... Do I have the gun cleaning kit, though? No, I left it at the, um, in my main base, so I'm gonna swap out some rabbit meat for the, um, the gun cleaning kits that I have, because... I can get more food later on. I just can't get any more rifle kits. Or at least, uh, there's a guaranteed chance for food, but not guaranteed chance for the cleaning kits. much level of stink is not a great idea, but YOLO. Becomes, have I ever been known for making great decisions? And the answer is fuck no. I don't make great decisions. I make impulsive decisions. And those impulsive decisions are more entertaining than the smart ones. Also, 
also, I mean, I was on this um, particular level, and when I was doing Buried Echoes in Zone of Contamination, I just got so fed up with, like, having to wait for the wolves to do anything that I just decided that, hey, you know, let's YOLO this shit. It's getting kind of heavy. Yes, I'm aware, Astrid. Shut up. Uh, I'm like, yeah, let's YOLO this shit, and, um... Oh, I... And just walk around during an aurora. Okay, how many hatchets do I have at the moment? This hatchet sucks. I'm gonna take that one and abandon the shitty one. Oh yeah, the brown mug. Yeah, I do. Yep, yeah, it is. Brown mug. Antibiotics, painkillers. Do I have a pry bar? How many pry bars do I have? Okay, I don't have that much. Ah, oh, it's dark though. That's the problem. Actually, I can head over to, um, oh, what was I thinking of? The cave. I can head over to the cave, get, I can carry much more. um, yeah, once I get to the transition cave, I can plop down my bedroll at the very end of the cave, get some sleep. I do not have my bedroll. Did I leave it somewhere? Where did I leave my bedroll? Because holy shit. I can't do any... I probably left it in... Yeah, I left it somewhere. I certainly... I, I might as well check here first. Though it's not here. Shit. Oh well. I'm wasting some time, but I can't forget a bedroll. is no asterisk. <sighs> okay, only, I'm only saying this because I really found it hilarious. And, um, you need to check out, um, not my clips, um, highlights. There is one highlight in particular where I had just shot 
a bear twice. And I'd given it some time for the bear to die. And I assumed it already died. I climbed over there. The, but the bear was still alive. I saw both bears. And the bear, like, it was getting ready to attack, like, to stand up and say, hey, I'm going to, um... Yeah, but I think I left my bedroll in here, unless, like, I really screwed up and left it in the mines. Which I probably left it in the mines. I'll check the one mine that um, I went through. But yeah, I'm, the bear stood up, was about to stand up, but then died. And so, but I didn't see it die because I panicked. might be in Scr near Scruffy's cave, because that was the last place, uh, no, I didn't sleep there. Oh, well, I'll check over here, and either way, because it's getting late, I can just sleep again. I just have to hope that I can make it there without the wolf spotting me. I don't want to waste a bullet. It looks like an Aurora night. Maybe I'm wrong. It's just the green. have a really good bedroll that like I repaired so that's why I'm kind of more obsessed with this one because I know it's at a high percentage I'm just hoping that I didn't go the wrong way Check Scruffy's cave. Though I might have checked it earlier. condition to run into Scruffy at the moment. Just trying to get up these rocks. I'm not wasting a stem. Hi! Fine, I'll waste a bullet. Screw you.
you just shot Scruffy? There, but I want to check to make sure I didn't leave my um, bedroll in here. Man, this pack is getting kind of heavy. Okay, that's great. see what the percentage is. Yeah, that's why I wanted to... That's why I wanted to keep it, because it's like such a good percentage of a bedroll. I don't blame you. this area and this particular building is that it's so good um when it comes to because it's the only place with an actual um yeah but it also has what's the word i'm looking for um workbench and that's the, that's the biggest downside. Okay, I mean, I think having fever risk isn't that bad. I think the best way to view it is that there isn't... It's been decommissioned for years. So it hasn't, um, at least the, like, mid-1900s. I'm not sure I can carry much more. I will say it's best to view it in the context of reminding people hey this actually did happen and so long as the context of saying yeah this is wrong is also put in place having the basically the whale factory continue to um, exist in the game reminds people that it did happen at one point. And right now, a lot of people are... Like, you can't forget.
there's a reason why I actually like hunting video games, and that's because it's, like, if you're going to say, okay, this is fun, then you might as well encourage it in a video game. I remind people, it's, it's one thing to do in a video game, it's another to do it in real life. Like, that's just my philosophy on it. There are just some things where people are going to be like, that's how their brain has been wired for so many years, where it's like, okay, this actually does benefit me. And so it's like, okay, but you don't need it anymore, but let's have like a fictional way so you don't like, you have a way to get it out without necessarily hurting anything. And so long as you're reminding, hey, like in video games only, that's fine. Nice. I don't even need that. Alright, time to make the long ass haul over to the new location. I really like to push the envelope here. with everything. The main issue is will this bring, like, if you're doing anything, you have to ask the main question does this bring more benefits than harm? And when it comes to whaling, the answer is no. Because you can't, um, just based off the size of the animal, you can't do anything ethically. It's a lot harder. And that's my final thoughts. Okay, that's a dead end. Another bullet. I don't need that. I know there's not a bedroll in here because I've been in here like seven times. Well, not seven. No, actually, I've been close, close to seven. I passed by here just for some coal. On average, yes. On average. Come on. Why 
think you just die? On average, yes. The thing that I really want to happen is for lab-grown meat to become very commonplace. Beachcombing and crumbling highway is actually pretty decent. Um, I want to know how much beachcombing is available in misery mode. Because if beachcombing is a thing in misery mode, it would mean that you would be so much better off sticking to crumbling highway, coastal highway, and desolation point. Especially because of the cougar. You have easy access to coal. The only issue would be if you can get matches and functioning matches. Because if you can get, um, because you have the chance to get rid of the um, cabin fever. with the fishing huts and then you have the ability to light a fire the only thing that i think would really be cool is if you could um use the lanterns as a means to start a fire or use like the hot plates that'd be nice because the problem is there's n um though i'm pretty sure raf wouldn't want to do it because he doesn't like people staying alive for too long like the only way you could balance out misery mode is if there was a way to get more fire starters I'm in the game. Very much more. Because from what I can already tell, there aren't that many matches in misery mode. Stop by Quonset predominantly because I want to A nap and B I kind of want to make um a bearskin bedroll. I know it weighs a lot, but at the same time, it would be more beneficial. Try for a Saturday stream for The Sims 4. I like the idea of doing, um, having Wednesdays be the long dark and then Saturdays being The Sims. I'm just saying that, like, that's how I kind of want to do it. 
just because I feel like, um, because Saturdays are a lot easier to do a longer stream. So, like, Wednesdays are usually better. Like, if you're looking at actual, like, the statistics on who watches more, Wednesday nights and Wednesday evenings are usually the days that you can, um, where it's best to do it in the evening. And Saturdays, um, because more people have off on Saturday, you can stream, like, a much more varied amount of times so you can get more people to watch. And so, these are the reasons for, like, the times. Hi. I'm probably gonna check, um... Jackrabbit Island if I do not see the rifle in Quonset. Because I definitely need the rifle. And that's only because I want to get rifle to level 5. I already have revolver to level 5. I don't think so. I think misery mode is loper plus. So it's like all of the worst aspects of loper... Combined with the middle finger of every- uh, combined with five additional middle fingers of the unique afflictions of Misery Mode. I think it's five. It's about it. At least. At least five. I switched to Voyager. I'm sorry, I switched to my Voyager run just because um, I want to do Signal Void. But then I remembered that I have a bear skin in Quonset. Yeah, I'm on day 100, so. Anyone's made it to 100 days in misery mode yet. That would basically be, um, in order to get to 100 days in misery mode, you would have to have had the best RNG and basically played non-stop since the update came out. Interesting speed run though. Can I speed run the entirety? Yes. Though the cougar won't show up for a while. Once I beat um I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Okay. Son of a bitch. Okay, I can't make it because I only have one, so I just wasted time, but whatever. I think I can use this. Six hours. I'm too tired to think straight.
I didn't check for the rifle. It's probably not in here. Empty, empty, empty. Don't need that. I'm gonna check something real quick. Because I can't remember. I need for a bearskin um, wolf coat. Okay, four wolf pelts. And I do not have four wolf pelts. Oh uh, well. I'll probably do that off stream in like a new run. Because that would actually be fun speed run. But if I did that, I would go to um, Timberwolf Mountain. Get the gun there, because I know there's a guaranteed spawn of a gun. Time to head to Jackrabbit Island, because... I also have, like, a ton of shit there, too, anyway, so I can pick up some food. I can carry much more. Also, just be fun to see if I can get some of the achievements in the misery mode. Like, you have 10 days to harvest 10 deer corpses before the cougar shows up and kills your ass. Like the cougar's time is based off of not like when I started because if I started I would the cougar would be over and kicking my ass by now because I have how many days I spent straight in one region an extra one. Um, I should have had it. No, I probably took it out. Never mind. Eh. You should be more focused on trying to get, um... I'm trying to get the, um... Signal Void started, actually. Once I get to um, Jackrabbit Island, I'm going to spend, like, a few minutes getting the rifle cleaned. I'm going to keep the revolver just in case. Because um, if I get one sprained wrist, then I can still use a revolver. And that also means that even if I get two sprained, I only need to heal one in order to use the, uh to use a gun, rather than having to fix two to use the rifle. Always good to have backups. Backups of backups of backups.
the wolf realizes I'm up here, I'm gonna be in the building, so. And here's all the meat that I have. Open up, I can get some sleep after I clean the revolver. Where did you drop any of this gear? There's the hammer. Where did I put the gun? Seriously, I know I had the gun in here. that. Okay, there we go. I put it in there. Actually, I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Before I drop it, I can drop that. The heavy hammer I really want, so. Once I get that to 100%, I can get some sleep. Four point five kilos. my skills. So, sleep eight hours, get a bite to eat, get something to drink, and then sleep another eight hours. Or as much hours as I can. If I wake up and there's more time for sunlight, I can just um, clean the gun some more. And switch out this because that's not needed. Uh. I meant clean. Actions. I mean, it's gonna take a lot longer just because I don't actually have 
a good amount of points in the rifle yet. Get out before oh, I thought I had a spare crowbar somewhere. Oh no, it's in here. What can I drop? Okay, yeah, I had like ten coal. I didn't need all of that. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Need more water soon, but that's fine. Yep, we're gonna reload all these bullets. Now I can head over to Ravine and make the long trek back to, um, I'll make the long trek back to the, um, new regions. this off stream but oh well from here on out I'm probably not going to kill any um make any more food like eat only when the bar gets really close to being full, um, empty, or when before I go to bed. Just make sure, like, I have enough food in me to not lose well fed. That I don't run into the bear that's around here because that would it's, it's not the worst thing in the world it just it would suck I do have a lot of bullets so I'm not concerned I just hope that I find more when I reach the new um, the new regions at least the new region. Because there's one feat I want. I want to do a 500 day loper run, but in order to be comfortable with doing that, 
there are two badges I want. The first badge being Firemaster, and the second being one of the new badges. Almost there. Perfect. Yes, ah, son of a bitch. What? Oh, I forgot about cabin fever. You suck, game. Cabin fever is the worst and will always be the worst. outside, spending a lot of time. I don't get cabin fever in terms of in this game. I just don't. Because it's like, okay, you are, like cabin fever usually comes around because of you're trapped indoors with the same people and so you don't have any um so all the habits that normally you work. wouldn't really care about really start to pile on so like if you're in a situation where if you're outside for too long, you can freeze to death. You would imagine you wouldn't be as prone to cabin fever.
Jesus, it's cold. Once people get, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it right now. Once people figure out how to survive in misery mode for a long time, I guarantee you, someone is going to do the misery mode three deaths challenge. Where you're, um, no, it would probably be like the misery mode last life challenge, where, like, you start off and then you die three times. So that way you're on your last life. And you have to survive as long as humanly, you have to survive like 30 days or something, which is as long as the short term consequences last. I know someone's gonna do that at some point. Checking to see if that's going down. It's not. get like um uh, time to redo all of my emotes that is true I did not like go far enough into the cave so that I'm warm but it also counts as a uh, outdoors because that would be nice It sound redeem. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep four hours just so I can get the um just so I can get my warmth up. Cabin fever risk is gone. And I did take my bedroll. Thank God. I'll cook some bunnies later if I need the food. Ugh. Or I can just kill a wolf with my rifle. signal void um, stuff done here on this save file. I've been meaning to do a review of um, 
the um, the first two. It's just that getting the footage is a bitch and a half. Because I don't just want it to be a podcast. I want there to be actual video. here. If it does, then it means that Coastal Highway... Uh... Yeah, like, stopping by here and picking up Birch Park, as well as in Pleasant Valley is also a good strategy. to like put misery mode into other sort of saves so like misery mode um and just call it like miserable so like miserable voyager so you have voyager loot you have voyager everything but you have all of the afflictions of misery mode I think that would make it, like, really interesting. Because you have, like, all the downsides of Misery Mode. But with, like, the insanity that is the rest of, like, um, like, example, Misery Pilgrim, where, um, Miserable Pilgrim, where you have, like, you have the benefits of Pilgrim. And all the bullshit that is misery mode. That'd be funny. Yeah, a blizzard's coming, so I might as well sleep in one of the trailers. searched this already, I know it. this one just so I can get the rifle cleaning um, skill up a bit more. Okay, good. Perfect. Just want to see what... Good, good, good. I 
really didn't mean to do that. Oh well. I'll sleep eight hours. I'll be fine with food, so... More concerned with water. A little bit of food. Might as well harvest those. Um, that desperately needs to be repaired. I meant leave. I'm neutral on top bunker, bottom sure bunker. Much more. No, I should reload this. is like that might be true in TLD I don't know I don't usually keep track of that shit but realistically the top bunk should be the warmest because warm air rises meaning that if you have any warm air in a building it should be higher or maybe I'm getting that mixed up we're sworn warm air rises I'm dyslexic, so if I'm wrong, that's probably because I can't remember shit, so... And if I do remember it, I'll probably remember it backwards. If I recall correctly, potatoes can grow in almost any environment. The thing is, is that what matters is the ground temperature. So, and I can't confirm this, and this is more of a theory, but I think in theory, if you have enough sunlight, you could just grow potatoes in the middle of winter. So long as you keep the ground... I... 
So long as you keep the ground at a decent temperature. Because I think it was like six to eight hours of sunlight is necessary to grow potatoes. And it's why potatoes are so popular in Northern Europe. Once, um, let me think, potatoes and tomatoes, a lot of the, um, tomatoes, potatoes, um, I think yams, and, no, not yams. There are a few vegetables that were introduced from South America, and potatoes were the one that really blew up in the northern countries because of how easy they were to grow. Since a lot of the, um, especially like in Ireland, because Ireland doesn't get that much sunlight per year. And so having a vegetable that does not need that much sunlight and can grow in almost any condition is the most beneficial. That's why, like, if you are going to, like, make your own apocalypse bunker and you wanted seeds go for potatoes potato seeds are the number one thing also mushrooms potatoes and mushrooms if you're just looking for survivability both are the best because they grow in a lot of conditions they're pretty hardy in terms of how much they can survive And especially for potatoes, they provide a lot of calories. Carbs are amazing when you are in a life or death situation and you need a lot of calories fast. like to re reach broken railroad before I have to sleep. Okay, cool, cool. I'm already down to one stink line. One thing that I did happen to learn, someone actually brought it up, um, I don't remember who, it was like a post from a while ago, and they said, if you're ever in a zombie apocalypse, the best thing you can do is to get denim. Having a lot of denim is actually a good thing because zombies are still limited to the human body. I wonder if I can drop any of this air. And so having a way, um, it's like denim and duct tape. Because if you can wrap the denim with a lot of, du um, with duct tape in, like, on, um, in areas where the joints aren't, then the zombie bites can't actually tear through the clothing, nor can there be, um, an open wound. So you're more likely to survive. And my personal tip is, 
Um, and there was another tip, not my personal, but someone else also said that a, um, if you're ever in a situation where the world's gone to shit and there are no governmental services, don't pretend you aren't home. Make it clear, especially in the first few days, um, people are not going to be looting houses especially if those houses look like they're being um look like they're actively being lived in it's later on where you're going to have people who aren't going to give a shit but in the first few um in the first few months there are going to be enough abandoned houses that people are really going to try They're, they're not going to try for a place that's still lived in and still, like, actively being used, because that would be really dumb. I think if I really pace myself, I can make it over to, um, the transfer area before I need sleep. use the spare cloth. One of the interesting details about the Long Dark that tells me where this is, is the roads. Or at least it gives me an idea. Because if I recall correctly, there is asphalt on some of the roads. So if in the areas where there are no, there's no snow, there's asphalt. And that at least tells me this isn't in the Arctic Circle. Because the Arctic Circle never has asphalt. There is no reason you can't. Permafrost exists and that permafrost is going to make it so you can't. The, ma the amount of maintenance on those roads would be too much. What doesn't make sense is why we don't see as much cracked road. Because, like, if Great Bear Island has been abandoned, or at least neglected for so many years, where the train tracks are basically broken up, then it makes no sense, because... Ugh. Okay, I think that's the bear. Perfect.
Might as well get a few more cattails while I put my life on the line for the bear, because the bear probably already knows I'm in this area. Do a giant U turn, which means I'm probably gonna need to sleep sooner I'm than I'd want. Starving. But that's fine because I'd rather do that than risk getting killed by the bear. I just don't feel like killing it right now. Got an even amount of bullets. Which is very important to me. to do is concentrate because this is wolf central and the bear hasn't passed for hasn't is not that far away enough for my comfort wherever the bear is it's too close if i could see the bear Not that long ago, it's close enough for me to be paranoid. Oh, hey! Okay, I'm doing good. I might actually get this one to 500 days, which I would rather have done 500 days in, um, like a loper or something.
save up my sprinting energy for when I get to, well, just the energy in general. I really want to make it to the, um, the cave system. At the very least, I can, um, set up. Like today, at the very least, I'm setting up Signal Void Part 3. I was going to save Sprint. Okay, we got a Borky boy. I'm gonna need to rest soon. Okay, that's not a wolf. I know there's one up there, so I'm just trying to scout out the area to make sure there are no wolves. <laughs> or at least no other wolves. Why didn't you die? I didn't even hit you. Oh, that sucks. That's the problem. If you don't kill them right away and they're like charging at you, they will they'll still mess you up. I was probably shooting the wolves when I was in the new region. Zone of contamination, that's it. down there. Once I cross the bridge, I'm safe from the wolves, so... Because from what I can tell, they don't cross bridges. And if worse comes worse, I can just sleep in the truck.
no Borky boys over there. That's empty. Search this already. I'll sleep when I get inside. Oh, right, the 100 part three's not out yet. I was thinking it was for some reason. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Okay, so transfer pass, far range branch line, surrender path. Wait, what? Sun. Sundered past. Okay. I show off my impressive reading skills. That should be enough. <laughs> it's not early enough to get a Aurora. I want to make sure that I don't accidentally step on wires. Place where um where you go straight across you can just go down and then you're right at the cave that lets you enter the place for um the rail line train station I'm not gonna go that way because that just takes longer. It's good it's a good way up, but it's not a way down. Best way down. This way. Okay, that's actually a really good place. Uh did I get a screenshot? I know, I think that, like, that's, like, the perfect horror game thing, where it's, like... Do I have a pry bar? The answer is no. I'll take it. Yep, 100% pry bar? Fuck yeah. 
No reason not to take it. I'm still gonna go down, but I might as well just put the rope here. committed to the goat, so... Please tell me I didn't get stuck. Oh, thank God. Almost there. Greetings, rabbit. You got to live. some corn I missed, but eh. I'm gonna try to go for the um, badge that's like, okay, you are, um, haven't eaten anything man-made. That would be a nice badge to get. Sure, I can carry much more. After you will carry what I say you will carry. So one of these days, I'll just apologize to like Jennifer Hale, like dear Jennifer Hale. I really do love you as Astrid. I truly do. Sincerely, someone who complains a lot about Astrid. No, it would be sincerely someone who bitches more than Astrid does. I should get my gun out just in case. Because I will see a wolf. I'm 
really hoping I can actually see the new region this year. something. about this uh cougar because like i know i keep switching regions but like i'm wondering if there's like one particular region the um cougar is always gonna like gonna spawn in and if i'm getting closer to its like overall layer I know Hinterland likes to put in um, sound effects that sound like that um, mimic the animals. So there's always going to be sounds that mimic bears, mimic wolves. Oh, I'm starving. So I know they did that for the cougars because they've they've always had that for the other animals. is if you stay a certain amount of times in so like I don't know how the cougar works exactly um me being paranoid I'm wondering if hinterland means that if you stay in one location for too long if that means that the cougar will be on the prowl regardless if you switch regions and it just takes longer yeah the diner drink went bad but whatever i can still drink it Like, 
if you are in one region and then you switch over, if it would be like, okay, you have like so many times. So if you switch over, it'll just take like an extra day or two for the the um the cougar to um chase after you. The good news is, is that because we're so close to the train station, I can just enter there and then sleep. Actually do something real quick. I'm gonna turn that off. One thing I want to really do is spend 10 days in Ravine in misery mode. Because I want to see, will the cougar show up there? That would be more interesting. fun of damn cougar. The sooner I get inside, the sooner I'm going to be happy. Okay.
eat a few of that. Sleep eight hours. And pray to God that the cougar can't go uh, indoors. The good thing is because I have enough fire starting material. I can just make some more water while I wait for this blizzard to fuck off, basically. I should actually make some bandages. Drink some tea. I think the new area is gonna be up here. I'm gonna check. I say this? Mostly on the hunch, on a hunch, because it was in between Forsaken Airfield and Zone of Contamination. How many bandages do I have? Okay, I have some antiseptic, not a lot, but hopefully I can get some more.
I should get some of those acorns. Okay, there's no- okay, here we go. A few more acorns. That way I can make some coffee. Which way it is, I know like it's a bit past that in particular. Okay, this has to be the trail. So like the longer the day is like the longer the um the level goes on like the more the longer you live in the game the sh sooner the cougar shows up if you're camping in a particular region so i would think that they would make it a make like a cap so like it can't be like you spent like 24 hours in one region then the cougar shows up That would be insane. the area then because it feels like this would be the logical place hi right, can we get out of here or did i just get trapped I don't recall this rope being up there before. Uh, can we add the... <sighs> there we go. I've reset the 25 day thing, but I don't care. This is 
want to be able to get up here and see what is going on. Hoping that this is the actual uh, way to the new region, otherwise I just wasted a huge amount of time. no way they would give us like this path without actually having a way to get back up. Oh. I will say I wish my headaches lasted as long as Aspen's. It's like 15 minutes? Drinking a tea. Oh, well. Right. Man, this region became huge. I have no idea what Burdock Tea does. I give a shit. At 
leave Transfer Pass and hope that I end up in the new region. Oh, fuck yeah. weather station and search for okay I'm gonna stop by the first cabin I see it gives me a chance to look for loot as well like worried about getting the achievement. I can get that later. Yeah, there's asphalt here. Some of it is chipping up. Which makes sense. I think the old regions don't have as much of these um, roads going up. I think, yeah, and it's because of those chips in the road that it shows that it's asphalt and not, okay, how the fuck am I supposed to get over here? No, I'll just go down. that way cuz then I'll fall This way doesn't like me either I knew that would be, um, I'm betting that that's way, uh, the way, um, Did I say I hate for the tunnel. Know? So if you were able to really get through the tunnel, you would come out this way.
should be the radio tower. Worse, I can always use my stim. Okay, that was really lucky. Problem is, I need more food. Might as well drink the Raishi tea, because... Makes no sense to drink the birch bark yet. Yeah. It's too cold. I think. Oh, Bingo. Sorry about that. Okay. Eat a bit. I mean, the good news is it's already almost dark anyway, so... Okay, rabbits, rabbits. I'm not gonna fire the gun until, like, absolutely necessary. Okay, good, good, there's a house. Right, um, there's one where it's, um, achievement where you, like, use every thing, like, all of the natural healing items in the game. Once they figure out what burdock is, so I can figure that out. Okay, not saying that the person is a, ta like, 
stupid for building a house here. I just want to know why. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Okay, I'm warm. Fuck it. Might as well drink some um, soda. that I didn't accidentally just find I am gonna bet that that's part of the quest <laughs> sleep eight hours I'll go outside. Drink a rice tea. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Eventually, I'm gonna leave everything else because I know when I get back there, I'm gonna need it. Uh, you know what? On second thought, no. sleep again. <laughs> I might as well pass some time. It's too dark. I'll just drink the rest of the water. And pray to God that it isn't a blizzard. It probably is, based off the sound. Nope, not a blizzard, just very, very windy. Probably gonna have to repair like a um, one of those fuse box things, and then um, then wait for Aurora. Should be heading in the right direction. tower is like really high up. No, I 
personally have zero fucking clue what I'm supposed to be doing. But there's some fun in that. It's about to be a blizzard, but I just want to be cooped up in the, um... I get a bite to eat. Great. Can you eat trees? Because I'm gonna. Well, I'll be fine, Astrid. just gave up on the whole I'm freezing thing because she hasn't complained about that even though she is fundamentally freezing to death I'm going in the right direction for something. Like the cave where I can take a nap or warm up. Astrid, now. Where am I? You need to find food. Okay, I'm gonna have her drink some birch bark tea in the hopes that.
like, maybe if I'm not that cold, it won't. All right, so. That's not what I needed. Which isn't great. Don't want to go back, because it feels like a bigger waste. is light a fire, get the tea hot, then I can keep going. What I won't do is make a fire and heat up tea to keep going. I need to go up there, but I can't remember. Man, I could eat Do I go this way? No. My good rule of thumb is if it's too challenging to get there, like it feels physically impossible. Odds are that's not the way to where you need to go. Like, this is probably not the way I need to go. No, it's not that way. This way, yes. Okay, I'm not that far off from hypothermia. I have like 11, no, 21 bullets left. check this area. There's probably a cave nearby. Or I'm probably not supposed to go this way. Oh, it's antibiotics, not pain meds. That would be rose hip. starts. Come on, little fire. Damn it. This is good. Yeah. Freezing. Okay, so it's not that way. Getting way too close to hypothermia. <sighs> yeah, 
get as many sticks as I can. So it wasn't this way. There's not like a mountain climb. <sighs> Eat a little bit of the cattails. Really? Another one? Thermia risk is like buried under like 95% of everything. Just need a moment. Okay, we're starting this. it takes to make um
enough. It sucks. No, I can't yellow it. Oh, I can actually just eat those straight up. That sucks. See if there's a place that I can sleep that's warm. Because the music hasn't stopped, which is. Thermia risk hasn't gone completely away, but it's... It's just not going up. hideout. Is this like an actual ideal hideout or is this a quote unquote ideal hideout? <laughs> Sleep for hours and hope that The music stopped being dire, so... That's good. Because for a little bit, I honestly thought that the, um... Astrid. Okay. And we can find 
the exit, that would be great. Because I'm out of food. Okay, this should be near the leaving cave. Anything else? Tell me I'm close to like hey, that's just a winding road. I have a feeling I'm going the wrong way. me somewhere.
Well, might as well go into the mysterious cave. my gun just in case like this is like what cooper cave or something This area, like, um, with LD stream. windy. I'm indoors. <sighs> the nerve of this game. I swear. Wait, was I going down or up? I mean, I'm trying to get to the radio station in the new region. I have almost no food, which is ironic, considering the fact that in all my other locations, I have, like, enough food to last me for, like, 500 years. that isn't windy because I need to at least get a little bit of sleep perfect oh, you guys.
carry much more. Come on. Huh. What have we here? Hey, thank you for the follow. Um... On. Mia Matsumo. Thank you so much for the follow. Let's sleep two hours. I mean, it's probably gonna be out by the time I wake up, but so long as I'm not like, z like completely freezing. Okay, I can afford to sleep. need to actually do the quest. By visiting the radio tower. I haven't gotten there yet. Astrid, you can't. Thank you so much. And thank you, Owl, for the raid. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, I should probably have a gun out. I know where the radio tower is. Bad news. I'm on the other ping side. I'm not even close. Oh, I should have gone for the deer. Um. Get a few more hours of sleep. That just a rock. Gotta warm up somehow. Either way, I'm cold. Decisions. 
Okay, that's the worst place to go. It's not much better either. There's no good place to go. Only committed to this goat. A waste a stick. But I also really don't want to die. right way because um it turned out I was going in the wrong way that would really suck. Like I am going in the right way. cheat death. Yes. Okay, what do I have? 
And what if if they give you the same conditions that you were on? But how did I get here? Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, yes. The good news is I died right near where I needed to be, so... My bedroll's in shit condition, but you know what? I have my gun. I have my gun. Oh, so cold. All right, where are those little Timmy bastards? I want my fucking revenge. Okay, maybe now is not the time to get revenge. Because I'm running out of health. And fast. Sleep. I can't see shit. Two sticks, I do not have anything good. I'm at a hypothermia risk, but. I'm just more nervous than anything else. I'm gonna die again, and soon. And because this region, I should have chosen like a different region. No water. I would drink almost anything about now. Okay. I'm hoping this is a cave. It's not. It's not a cave. Place to rest. Trying to rock because I can't see anything.
fine. If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna do it killing one of these little fucks. do this again so how did you uh I mean the good thing is like I've gotten to the point where Okay, somehow he stole my gun. My fingers feel numb. If all else fails, I can just go back to, um... I leave any food in here. I still have some food. to worry about um oh i do still have to worry about um condition though Okay, so I have... Hold on, I'm gonna do a calculation real quick. So it is 471 hours. That's not bad. What I mean by not bad, I mean not the worst.
Come on, little fire. Come on. This should be 100%. I've never been so hungry in my life. Oh, shut up, Astrid. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. How much water do I have, though? Not much. Okay, where am I? Because I want food. I honestly thought that was a wolf. I have no shoes, but whatever. Uh, where are the cat tails? Feels like the game's cheating. Okay, there's the bear. are down there. Son of a bitch. Aha. You guys already sniffed me out. I don't care. So long as I keep track of those guys, I should be fine.
perfect. Because that's exactly what I wanted. Okay, that's only 49 hours? I can deal with that. I should have left a bunch of stuff in this area. I should have found... Okay, so I have the a sewing kit, which is great. Because it means that I can repair a lot of my stuff, which I need to do, like, immediately. That is incredible. I, I knew I was uh, going in being arrogant and uh... I literally died, so... Feel my hands. Where are the f oh, savage. Really need to make it into that house. I know it was in here, like, for a while. <laughs> Sleep an hour. Should be light enough for me to see what I'm actually doing. Guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. I 
and saved. Well, at least for now. Head outside just so I can pick up all the meat. Place to wrap up. I'll catch the end of done stream. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Owl, for the raid. And with that, thank. Have a good night. Have a nice day. Or if you are, just have a good one. And now. I read. Rank up. An oh, avatar boy. with the raid. This we'll give avatar a shout out. Welcome fall. in avatar as well. We just got raided by Kimiota like literally 30 seconds ago. You were talking about the new region. We we were just talking about the new region as well. I was just kind of giving my take on it. Which means nothing. <laughs> like, you know. But, uh, welcome in, welcome in, Raiders. And, uh, yeah, so we are on, let's see, we are on day five. I have not let pl left Pleasant Valley. We're done on day six now. Uh, of misery mode. <laughs>